when you own your own building in your own house or you know when you're paying for it if you don't like who's in it you could legally ask them to leave you can control your environment you can pick and choose the energy you want around you that's very important to me You know, they'll probably, he'll probably supervise the aesthetic and all that, like a franchise. <clears throat> and then they give me 10%. What do you make? Cool. That slices in my clothes. Cool. Now, I work with a uh, movie go, is uh, working with independent artists. We always work with the independent, independent film artists because they never get like the love. Or sometimes they have movies out and never even get the light of day. How can I bring, I get like normally, I get 10 artists and 10 um, producers to see a film, they do a 10 minute walk, or, uh, 10 minute movie, and then a question and answer. How can I get something like that here at Poppin' the University? Oh, we can talk about that, I like okay. that. It's important to you. Food is the most important thing, I think. What's your, uh, what's your take on real estate? Like, I love real estate. Do you just like invest in more so rental properties or four units, or do you do commercial, I mean, what, what's, what's... For me, what I was doing is, you know, almost like, I don't want to say what Trump does, but at Poppington, Poppington is luxury. So my ultimate dream was to have all these, uh, these and also a long way to avoid. So to have a building, buy the building, <coughs> have all my brands in it, you know, so it's like turnkey down to the television network. And then, um, you know, uh, do that in different places. So, like one of my plans was to get with my friends, because when you do real estate, you know, when you, like an apartment that costs a million dollars, from inception costs 125,000. You know? Right. But like you can't ever expect an artist to think like a businessman. It's usually one side of your brain works or the other. You know, it's rare that both work. It's like creatives aren't great at business and administrating because they don't like doing things that they don't enjoy. That's why they're artists. They only do what they enjoy and they only communicate the only you know the way they want to. And the most dysfunctional artists are the best they make the best music and they make the best art. So it's like you can't expect so much business from an artist, bro. They don't even want to count their own money. I appreciate it, man. Let's go. Let's go. I appreciate it. Thank you, man. And that's all those things create a universe. I'm creating a universe, so I need a lot of things. So I don't feel like I'm spreading myself thin because at the end of the day, I'm trying to create a universe. If I was only trying to do a planet, yeah, I'm bugging. And the only way to be great is to make yourself uncomfortable. And the only way to have a different result is to do things different. So if you're sitting around wanting something different and not doing anything different, logically, ain't shit gonna change. All right, thanks. You know? And you can't be mad about things not changing. You have to make that change. for not doing things for you or not seeing things your way. You gotta do that shit yourself. And expect to get stopped, expect to fight, expect to be tired, expect to be broke, but expect to be great. Right. You know, the thing that always pushes me through is the future. My future always looks good. Fuck what I'm feeling. It's like working out. You know, it hurts when you're working out, but you get up, you got muscles. Right. You know, if you love them, you want to spend as much time as you can with them. You know, and then don't ever think you're going to jump into an industry where people are working hard to win and you're, you're not working as hard as them and you think you're going to win. It ain't nothing 
that you want to do that you can't. And the only thing stopping a person from doing things is themselves. Fear. Yeah, the fear, and that's an emotion. That's a choice. You know, and even if you are scared, you have to have the ability to push through it until it's not fear anymore because you're doing it. I remember dreaming about having a record label and having that happen. And then dreaming about having a fashion and move. It, it, every single thing I've been able to dream has been able to happen. So the advice I'm giving everyone is to really dream, dream big and figure it out and never figure it's happy. There's, there's no way you can do anything you want. I promise you, no matter how much money you make, if you ain't happy, that shit sucks. Right. Because I see so many people with big bank accounts that's fucking unfucking happy And I see a lot of broke people happy. Because they're wealthy. When you're happy, you're wealthy. Okay. And, you know, sometimes you can unconsciously become self-absorbed. You know? Um, inconsiderate. Because you think your dream takes a priority over everything else. Always take the time to see how what you're doing is affecting the people you love and try to include them. It takes some pain in that moment, it feels like forever. But once you got where you got to go, that shit feels good as a motherfucker. And you know what it's gonna look like. So keep pushing to that vision of yourself that you wanna be. And don't stop till you get there. And don't let nobody stop. And happiness is within, like what you think is happiness. Anything can be figured it out. You know, accountability is everything. Everything's my fault. Fuck that. That's how a man looks at it, and I'm gonna fix everything that's my fault. I blame nothing on anybody else. All my fault. And you gotta look at it like that. And if you don't, play another game. You know? It is what it is.